what's popping. Who sits in front of a blank camera and try to figure out who the fuck they is five minutes before hopping on there? Like, just, sometimes I just be like, fuck it, turn it on. Whatever come out, that's what comes out. Whoever you decide to show, whatever mood you decide to show, whatever thought you have, that's you. All of it. She's well. The she's well on everything. So I was gonna hop on here today and pull us a few cards and see what's popping. Oh, I wanted to share. I wanted to share before we get into the reading. This is how I usually do. So I'm living back in the Midwest right now. And I'm staying with my mom. I love my mom. My mom is the shit. You feel me? But being in my mom's space has triggered me in with my inner child. Like, with certain shit. I'm going to give you an example. For one, when I live with someone, when you live with someone, you always want to make sure you on on beat. You clean, cleaning up after yourself. You contributing wherever. You feel. That's just who I am. Some people ain't like that, but that's what you do. So, I, I'm getting up for today, getting my things ready so I can get ready to record and do my little 10 minutes of yoga. So, I clean my mat and shit up. It's it's three dishes in the sink and I caught myself thinking, um, do those dishes before she is shitty. You feel me? And I had to stop for a second and say, self. You know what I'm saying? You a grown woman. <laughs> you feel me? Can't nobody check you about or get you or whoop you or you be in trouble for not doing nothing. You feel me? I had to really say this to myself. So then I had to like switch my perspective. Like you grown. Somebody's helping you. you want, you're having integrity. You feel me? You're valuing the space that somebody's lending you by cleaning up, even if you ain't make that mess. You feel me? It's wild. It's wild. But I'm grateful that I'm able to be aware when those things happen and check myself. Not in a bad way. And I have to learn how to be kind to myself and not speak to myself in an unkind way. I'm not going to say bad. In an unkind way. Because we fucking learning. You feel me? And we have we should be the ones to nurture ourselves. We should be the ones to say, good job. I'm proud of you. You're doing amazing. You can You can shape it up in this area. You feel me? So I do that for myself now. And I didn't used to. So that the fuck I'm proud of. You feel me? But I just wanted to share that because it's a process of uh, switching. And sometimes we be thinking we heal from certain shit. And then you will get placed in an environment where you have no choice but to face it. And I'm excited for this space I'm in right now. For one, because I'm able to really, really... Like, when I get triggered, really look at that shit instead of turning my nose up and thinking shit is supposed to happen my way. I'm able to look at it as, like, what the fuck is going on with me and assess that shit instead of, okay, okay, okay. But thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, counselors. <laughs> uh, What's up, Dark Magic? Right on for tapping in. I'm TT. I appreciate your vibes. I just get on here, pop in and do my oracle reads. I offer daily oracle readings. I have um, another business where we just chop it up and create together. Art, jewelry, all kind of shit. Um, so, yeah. If that sounds like you something you're interested in and you on this live, hit the link. Hit the link and follow your girl and email me or DM me or however. You feel me? Mm. So, I feel like since I'm back in the Midwest, 
I'm around more people than I'm used to because I'm a fucking introvert. I love my personal space. I, I could be in a house for months and years without human interaction. I bullshit you not. And be comfortable as fuck. And I am learning to fucking not necessarily not be an introvert because that's just who I am. But I'm learning how to integrate back with regular population and be around other people. You feel me? I promise you, girl, I be cool by myself. I be laughing at myself, all kind of shit. I be going through. It's fun by yourself. It's peaceful as fuck. And I love peace, man. But now I'm around people. So I'm learning and be um and it's like it's like God put it's like God guided me to a space where I have no choice but to be around people. You feel me? It's like you can't go in your cave right now, bitch. But I'm using it to look at myself and have patience with people because I almost snap, crackle, pop. I ain't going to say I almost, but I felt it rising up in me. You feel me? I felt the little tingles, but you know what? My I feel like I can proudly say I'm one of the type of people that have the best intentions for anybody I meet. I don't believe in having hidden agendas. You feel me? If 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 I love to do things for people. I love to but um in my life they got taken advantage of a whole fucking lot. A whole lot like damn near by everybody, even the last people that you feel like you should be able to trust. Them motherfuckers lurked me too. You feel me? But what I learned from that is that we put the trust in our own self. You feel me? We have to learn to put the trust in our own self. So then if we trust our own self, ain't the next motherfucker can't one up us. They can't because we gonna trust what we feel. Because think about it like this. I know you and I have this in common. That when you felt like somebody was pulling some funny shit, you felt it in your body. But you be like, nah, I'ma still give them the benefit of the doubt. And that's because you got a great gift and you can see the best in people even when they... Even when they don't see it in themselves, and even you just able to see that in people, and that's a gift. So I feel like it ain't nothing wrong with having that kind of heart. That's a beautiful heart that, and a lot of people don't know how to value that. But it's it's our responsibility to learn. Like everybody don't, you can you don't have to learn how to trust people if we trust our own motherfucking self, and if we trust people to be who the fuck they showed us they was. And stop trying to make a story of who we see. Even though we see that beautiful light inside of them, they might not be ready to grow into their full light. Or they may not be able to operate in their full light right then. You feel me? And it ain't nothing wrong with that because we all grow at different paces. And some of us are called to be in people's life for them for them to fuck over us or for them to experience what it's like to fuck with somebody with fucking pure intentions. It's meant for us to fuck with them type of, I don't even want to call them a type of people. It's just a, a, a season. It's just a, a trauma response. It's just a lesson that motherfuckers be having to learn through that. Cause having pure intentions is rare as fuck. And that's why I don't, I don't offer past life readings. I just really, my type of reading is pulling out the cards and whatever I feel, that's what I say. Like I'm an intuitive reader. Um, so that's how I be reading. Like I don't be putting no label on them or nothing like that. Just whatever come out, come out. Okay. I'm about to get into the read. Thanks for listening to my, um, my mouth, my mouth, my mouth. Okay, we're going to start with the mermaids. I'm grateful to be in a space where I feel like my learning is going to be accelerated. I'm grateful to be in a space where where I feel like um, 
old patterns are being instantly broken off of me. I love being in a space. I'm grateful for being in a space that I'm just recognizing the lessons and putting them to use. I'm going to wipe the cars down. So before I got on this on this live today, I was thinking I was thinking whatever you are thinking about doing, do it. That was the exact words that came in my head. Whatever you are thinking about, so that made me feel like somebody has Some great ideas they sitting on. But it feel like you just keep going over them in your head. Without busting a move. Thank you God, angel, spirit, guys, ascended masters, archangel, spirit, animal. Thank you, granny and daddy. Thank you, spirit team. Hold me down. To give me the messages that lift me up. Thank you for whatever message that want to come out. Okay, let's see what's popping. Thank you. Waiting. Waiting. And that's, this really just confirms what I just said before we pulled the card out. I feel two things off of this. Before we pulled this card out, we were saying, whatever you are thinking about, do it. So with this waiting card, I'm feeling like some, this is a collective message. Whoever hear the sound of my voice, it's most likely that this message may resonate. But... It's like you sitting on your plan, but not taking no action. Like you've had this uh, idea of it could be a job. It could be moving. It could just be a, a reinvention of yourself. You feel me? You've been having this vis visualization and this idea, but you're not putting no action behind it. You feel me? So what I'm feeling off of this waiting card is it's time to bust a move on that on that play that you keep playing over and over in your head. You feel me? I'm also feeling like like it's the door is open. That's why the that's why the message at first was like whatever those ideas are you you thinking do it. Because it's like now waiting is just in vain. Waiting is just to be doing something to do because you got all the tools. And and, and you got the game plan. You might not need a five-year strategy. You may just need a day one strategy. You feel me? So that's what I'm feeling off of this waiting card. Like, actually bust a move. And I'm also feeling is that... That you have been in a space of feeling like you waiting on clarity. Or you waiting to see how some certain situation is, is going to play out. Or are you waiting on your turn? You feel, you feel me? Like I feel like you have endeavors that you ready to be seen. You ready to be supported genuinely. And... And this waiting energy is giving me that your boats is coming in. You you waiting for that special person to find you. You feel me? And appreciate your heart and your love. You've been patiently waiting on these things. And, and some of you, some of you have been busting moves. But sometimes the move is just waiting. I'm going to keep it all the way real. Sometimes the move is just waiting. And waiting don't always mean sitting there. Waiting is like having a peace in your heart that the fuck I know I deserve was for me. I know nothing or nobody or no energy can come against what's meant for me. So I'm just going to be patient and know what's for me is going to be mine. Can't not stand in the way. So that's what I'm feeling off of that energy right there. That waiting card. So 
So this is the answer is simple Oracle deck. This is like my OG deck right here. The first one I ever had. I love this deck. But so I'm gonna take this one too. So we have number fifty one turn back. So, what I'm feeling from this card is I'm definitely picking up on somebody, like, feeling lost. Somebody feeling like they don't know which direction to take, what's next, what move to bust. Can't nobody give you no insight. And this turn back, I'm feeling like it's turned back to yourself. Because we got the talk to God card number 11 that came out after that, right? God is you. Turn back to you for the answers. And sometimes we just got to have a have peace and wait like the first card for the answer to just come to us. If we cloud in our minds, steadily seeking something outside of us, an answer, a solution, you know what I'm saying, whatever, a confirmation, if we constantly seeking that on the outside, um we not making the space to be still. Be still. Turn back to ourselves. Talk to God, which is ourselves. And being peaceful and knowing that the fucking answers is coming. Sometimes God, sometimes universe, God, spirit, just wants us to fucking figure out that we don't have all the answers. We'll never have all the answers. And if the answer is meant to come to us, it's going to come to us in the divine timing. No running and searching for all this shit on the outside is going to always bring us the answers that we need. Sometimes the answer is just having peace that it ain't no answer right now. What the fuck? You feel me? So I'm feeling like surrendering off of this, surrendering off of this energy too. Like, what was the first card that came out? The waiting card came out first. Turn back to yourself because you feel lost. You feel me? And talk to God, which is turning back to yourself. You feel me? And then be patient and know the answers is going to come in divine right time and on everything. So the other card that came out, letting it be. And, and letting it be don't always be easy for all of us if i could just testify you feel me see that's the way god used me god used me to you give messages like this because they be filtering through shit i'm going through or shit i've been through and that's why i'm able to say it and that lesson right there fucking surrendering this is the i feel like this I feel like this has been the test of all tests thus far in life. You feel me? It's fucking surrendering. Yeah. But I'm doing a good job. I'm doing an, I'm not I'm doing an amazing job. So, the next card came out was love your body, right? Love your body. Um, This is giving me self-care vibes. This is giving me like going out and pampering yourself and upping up your self-care routines. This is giving me like getting facial energies, getting massages, getting pedicures. Being sensual with yourself, standing in the mirror, admiring your body, dancing with yourself. You feel me? That's what this is giving me. The love your body. This is this is giving me love your physique. 
Am I pronouncing that right? Vasik, Vasik. However, love everything thin, wide, long. It all is yours. Fucking love it. And this is definitely a message that I've been instilling in myself too. You feel me? Because, like, I feel like growing up with this type of society that we've had and these fake beauty standards or fake what's normal, there's no fucking such thing as normal. The world would be boring as fuck if, 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 if it was normal. But, like, right there in that area, learning not to fucking compare ourselves. There's no comparison to who we are. And, and that's been a lesson, too. I don't know why I used to compare myself to other people. I, I really feel like I used to compare myself to other people because I'm so unique. And because I grew up in this world and thought I'm supposed to see me all the time. You feel me? And you don't. You do, though. You do see yourself. But you get what I'm trying to say. No, what I am saying. Yeah, this is love our body. This is movement. Go skating. Go walking. Ride a bike. Go on a scooter. You feel me? Being active. Eating foods that's nourishing for our body. More fruits and vegetables. Hella water. Hella water. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. From the rebel. Let's see what's popping. This one says, Help people. Give back. Do good shit for humanity. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Right? So. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Like, this is like getting out of your head. And the help give back and do good shit for humanity, that is the turning into yourself. Seeing, identifying yourself, seeing our connections with God. Showing up in our authenticity. That's how we do for humanity. And then it says, fucking apologize. Just do it seriously. So I'm feeling off of that. Maybe somebody could be being hard on themselves about knowing what's going on in their life or or feeling like they don't know what direction to take or they supposed to be somewhere other than where they are. And and I want you to know that everywhere we are is purpose. It's purpose in where we are. We all grow at different fucking paces, man. We never have to align ourselves or compare ourselves or line up where we're at to somebody else's journey outside of us. We all have our own fucking walk. So let's always learn to be kind to ourselves and speak kindly to ourselves and know how to give everything that we want to give other people, our neighbor, our family, the kindness and respect and compassion, we give that to ourselves first, man. Because we fucking deserve it. On everything. Like, I feel like some of us, for so long, we just had that kind of uh, 
low self-talk because you feel me like we didn't see our greatness like it was easy to see everybody else's greatness but we didn't know how to see ours because we we never had people to teach us to see it in ourselves we always thought we were supposed to place it outside of us but we finally learned that we are the fucking greatness that we see in everybody else so it's just it's just been in a space of us teaching ourselves that. Like, when you know some shit, then you, you, you act in it. And that's what we doing on everything. And I'm fucking proud of us. Uh, I ain't gonna use this. I'm gonna pull for one more day. One more day. And I feel like serving our purpose in the world is just being ourselves. If you fucking grumpy that day and somebody getting on your nerves, tell they ass they getting on your nerves. Like don't don't bite your tongue. I caught myself I caught myself kind of biting my tongue. I feel like the other day, and I'm still conflicted in how in. Okay, let me get this out. How I'm trying to say it. So I had an encounter with a restaurant worker the other day. The restaurant order expressed his frustrations in a subtle way. It was real subtle and passive aggressive of how my order, I was ordering for six people through the drive-thru. I attempted to go in, but the inside wasn't open. So I sat in the drive-thru with like six cars ahead of me. It probably took like 20 minutes for me to get to the window, which I wasn't tripping. I didn't even care. I ain't had nothing to do. But the, the person at the window gave me an attitude. And since I'm able to pick up on people energy easy, and in the past, I used to just suck other people's attitude up. Like, now that I'm more conscious of that, I don't act in that. So he gave me attitude, and what I wanted to say, I didn't say. Like, I wanted to say some real snappy slick shit like this your motherfucking job you feel me like or whatever i wanted to say but i didn't say that i i came in a place of kindness but i still said like i'm ready to eat this is your job why did i say that guy it's just like stepping in your new cell sometimes is going to have you uncomfortable but we want to make sure we always fucking being authentic my new self, I know how to fucking uh, express myself and articulate without soaking up people's attitudes or without being snap, snappy or bitchy. But if I was bitchy, oh, the fuck well, too. Because sometimes people, that's the only way they're going to get the message if you motherfucking be a bitch and snap on their ass. And so what I want to say is just show up in your fucking authenticity. For real. For me, I feel like I'm working on being kind. And I love people. I love the type of people who can check you without fucking being a bitch all the time. Or it's easy for me to be a bitch. If somebody coming at me in a in a fucked up way, I feel like. It's easy for me. So, I'm training myself. I did that my whole life. I did that my whole life. And because my lack of... Being able to express myself, express my concerns, express my frustrations in a vocal way. I used to just fight. <laughs> you feel me? Instead of arguing, instead of getting smart, because that's a lot of energy. I used to just fight. I don't do that shit no more. But when I, when I went from that place, I went from a place of not speaking up for myself. And letting people say slick shit without addressing it. Because I was afraid of my own self. You feel me? I was afraid that I'm about to go upside this bitch head if I really try to say what I feel. Because because I didn't know how to express my frustrations and because I'm so emotional and because I'm an empath and I'm highly sensitive, I would soak up their anger, be feeling my own anger too. So that would enable me. It, it would give me a feeling of not being able to say what I want. So, I'm going to start crying. You feel me? And, oh, bitch, when I cry, everybody better run. Because I'm tearing all this shit up. You feel me? And I used to be afraid of me <laughs> acting like being like that. Because I fucking blank out. So, I just went to a place of stop telling people. And letting people shit on me. And being a people pleaser. Because I was afraid I was going to. Snap, crackle, pop. And it's going to be ugly. But now, 
in the present space, I'm at a space of telling people, you got me fucked up. You feel me? Without wanting to smack a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Go upside a motherfucking head. And without getting loud. And without pointing the finger. You feel me? Because everybody we fucking interact with is just a reflection of us. But that don't mean not to tell a motherfucker how you feel. Because we learning together. My frustration with somebody else. And then I learned this too. When we communicate our frustrations with the ability to be calm. It's more likely for somebody to soak that shit up and really get what we're talking about. It's more likely that both of us can have a teachable moment if we able to express, bitch, you got me fucked up without pointing in a bitch face and being like, you got me fucked up. You feel me? Like, I just think that's so grown. It's so, what's the word I'm looking for? Noble's popping in my head, but. Like, this is going to be the last card, y'all. Right on for tapping in. Make sure y'all hit that follow button. Um, I'm going to start hopping on here more and doing readings because I feel like that's my contribution. Because I do love to talk. And I love to listen. And I want to help. And I want to use my voice to help the world heal. And to show who I am. Thank you, Angel. Okay, so I'm back in town. I'm about to go pick my grandkids up. I don't know if we're going to do anything today. Uh, I feel like I need to take today and make a self-care day, y'all. Start putting ourselves first more of the time. I know we've been learning how to new self-care routines and shit. And we've been incorporating that. in, But it, I feel like it's time to up it up even more. Up it up over top of the most important person outside of you. And self-caring looks like all type of shit for different people. Shit, it could be sitting on the patio, watching the rain fall, smelling the rain. You feel me? Take time for ourselves. We deserve it, man. I am ready to go big, rise up, and step into my power. You hear me? I am a light worker in disguise. I don't have to talk about it. I can just be it. So from both of these energies together, I'm feeling like divine soul. You the type of person that just adds peace to the environment wherever you go. You don't have to go in and literally try to break up a fight. You can just walk in the room and motherfuckers get calm. You feel me like that's part of your contribution to give in the world and i just feel like because you so sensitive to you 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 bring the peace but you sensitive to the chaos because you like order you like things to have order you like things to be fair you like things to be flowy but it wouldn't be no peace need for peace if it wasn't chaos you feel me? So that's like we have to accept the duality of our gifts and learn how to fucking balance that shit and walk in that shit and share it in the world right now. You feel me? Like it's our purpose to.